I'm gonna touch your hair. This is how you ask. Is that okay? <laughs> you don't just be like, oh, I like it. It's so soft. Yeah, it's like, no. I've had enough of you people. <laughs> what are we doing today? Okay, maybe not hip then. So this week we're going to try out different eco stylers and how each one affects our hair differently. So I've been natural for five years. Basically just one day I was like I'm bored of relaxing my hair. I'm tired of putting such rough chemicals into my hair every six weeks just to fit an ideal that I don't subscribe to. So I put it in braids, I leave it out, I have twist outs, braid outs. So when I was 16 I permed my hair against my mum's advice. My hair got very, very thin, so I decided not to perm it anymore. But the thing is, I went back natural, but I never left my hair out. So I used to slick it back, I mean like within an inch of its life. I've never used anything here, it's very new for me. So please be nice in the comments. With my hair, I've never relaxed it. I've only ever probably used too much heat, but I've always kind of had a good love relationship with my hair. My hair doesn't like to be slicked. It will like kind of recoil back a little bit, so it won't go flat, flat. So everyone's like, yeah, use a scarf, use this, use that. And I'm like, you're not listening. <laughs> it doesn't slip, but go off. Okay, so these are the gels we're gonna be trying out this week. So every day, each of us will try out a different one. The one I'm really looking forward to trying out is this one. Not because it's brown, no. Because it is cannabis. She's selling it to me. I don't know about you. I'm so... QVC! It's QVC! <laughs> Just if my nails were done, it would be, be perfect. Call the number below. It's for all hair types. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, Moisturises, nourishes, protects, flake-free. Now, all gels tend to tell you that they're flake-free. It's a lie. We know that's not the truth. Oh. Oh, that smells good. I did not expect it to be clear. Let's go for it. Oh, it does smell okay, it good. smells really good. Oh, that's nice. Next up, we have the Unicorn Styling Gel. Now, this one is the prettiest. Inside, as you can imagine, it's very unicorn-y. Your hair's gonna look like you're going raving or a festival. Or oh, maybe I'll have to use this for like when I have a thirsty Thursday. Yeah, this, is, this is not Monday What's here. That? So I've just picked up this Black Eco Styler. It just says protein, so it's for naturally dry hair, which is my hair type. So it says it's alcohol free and like firm hold. We'll see. So I think I'm gonna try this one for when I want an extremely slicked back look. Whoa. Ooh. This is this is the 90s kind of gel. <laughs> I'm... Throwback first day, this is what it is. Okay, so this one is the olive oil, shea butter and black castor oil with flaxseed. Oh, these are like the black hair care buzzwords. Yeah. For all hair types. Again, we will soon see. Be able to secure the deep. And it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a golden um, one. Can I sniff? Of course you can. Mm -hmm. Smells a bit like perfume. Smell it, you'd be like, oh. <laughs> Auntie Bernie. Oh, Auntie Bernie, we're sorry. <laughs> nah, no aunties. Oh, just mine then. This one is the Curl and Wave one for all curly um, textures. Okay, I think I might like this one. And yeah. this is probably something that I'd use as like my sealant for a braid outs, like yeah. when I'm braiding my hair. Yeah. I think I'd just put like, you know when your hair's drying? I think I'll just yeah, yeah, to get yeah. definition, I yeah. Like I don't, because I don't use gel at all. I wonder what gel Ariana Grande uses. This one, unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really excited to try these out. So we'll be able to update you and show you what actually happened. Ooh, I look tired. Okay, so day one. I was gonna do a twist out, but who's got the time? I'm just gonna do a side bun. As you can see, I'm just pulling just mainly from the top area. Basically, I do strand by strand. Everything looks nice and glossy. And there we have it, okay? Scrub, scrub. Feels really nice. Let's see how the day holds it up. It rained on me, but I'm not that mad. I'm enjoying the gel. My hair is a little bit fluffy. Hmm. I've seen sure. worse. Do you know what? I'm just really intrigued to see like what the actual benefits are meant to do. Oh, it's glittery. It's glittery. My hair is very low maintenance. Well, that's what I like to tell myself anyway. Slick down. Smell wise, it's fine, not too potent. My curls feel quite heavy once I put this one in. I like it. Yeah, it's really slicked, it's smooth. I feel relaxed, but maybe that's because it's the first thing in the morning and no one's tried me yet. Mm. Solid. Yeah. Bam. Bam. We're loving this, right? I'm very happy with, with that. Do you know what? It stayed in place. I've got very fluffy hair anyway. I'm really pleased with this one and it smells so nice. A thumbs up for this one. This is one I'm excited to try. Shrinkage is super real today. I'm gonna... It smells like sweets, but I don't know if I find that overbearing. Curl definition. I find that overbearing. It's giving me more definition, so yeah, 
Um, oh dear, you can't really see. My hair is like super shrunk and I feel like it just looks really sad and in a really sad shape. Now, what I'm extremely happy about is the definition that we have here. I love, I'm loving this. This is great. Anyone who is familiar with the 90s will know this was the colour of gel back then. And pour them out. And we just go, oh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. So this is the protein one and it is mad, dry and crispy. I feel like Beyonce. Yeah, this one's doing what I don't like gels to do. You see my curls are just straight. This is meant to be for like extremely dry hair and I feel like my hair is even drier. Oops. Today I've saved the best for last. Like, look at it. I am gonna put my hair in two buns. Ooh, that's not cool, is it? That just looks gloopy. Oh, it's cute. It's like all sparkly and shiny. This is not looking good. See what it's doing? My curls are straight at the root. It's slicked, but don't see anything special. Sprang up a little bit, as you can see, but I'm here for it. My hair is mad fluffy. Didn't really have a lot of hold, but maybe it's just not for my hair type. And we are back. We have done our five days of gels, and I suppose it's time for our review. So ladies, what did you think? This is my favorite one. It's beautiful, my hair didn't crisp, the curls look defined. I was really against trying gel in my hair. However, I've converted to this. I now carry it with me daily. Oh my, she's still doing the cutest I know, styles. I just can't, but I she's can selling it to me. I can really get my nails redone. Really I think you said that last time yeah. as well. Whoa. <laughs> Life is hard. <laughs> my favorite, actually, it's funny that we've got it in this order, is this one. This held really well, it smelled nice, it wasn't crispy. I just really enjoyed this. It was shortly followed by this one. And the worst, I can't decide this one because it was crispy and this one because it did nothing. It wasn't even like normal gel, like it useless. was iridescent. So my favourite one was actually this one mm -hmm. and close second was this one. So I'm kind of like the opposite to Pip. This one held like when I wanted like a slick bun, I was driving on a hot day, went to Ikea. Still felt sexy, even the cafeteria, I felt nice. Mm -hmm. This pink one, it was okay, you know. My worst one was this. It was yeah. it was so bad, like, I had to do like that high pony, that whole <laughs> slick, all sexy, like bad B vibe. Bruv, I look like Tasha from Power. Cracked, cracked. <laughs> it didn't even last, all my baby hairs were coming away. <laughs> I couldn't even hold myself up, this was horrible. The worst. Fair enough. Um, so, <laughs> that was a lot. Which ones are you gonna take with you forever? Forever, ever. Forever, ever? ever? Yo. Yes. Me, this one is 100% going to be my slick back. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Like, it smelled really good, it held really well, and it felt good. It, at the end of the day, I didn't feel like all oh, my days have got so much. So it smelled good, felt good, and held well. And held well. I actually didn't rate that one too much, you know? I rated it. Remember, my whole thing was growing out my hair and trying to get my curl pattern back, so it's just about what ones make my curls pop. None of them, except this one. Okay. I would use this okay. for the, the curls, yeah. um, but because it's a gel, I had to like pack it with like leave-in conditioner and yeah. then lightly, I actually sectioned it. I took the, I took time. Yeah, nice. Sectioned it to like run run through lightly, especially at the ends, because that's when they go a bit scraggly. So I, I would introduce this, like for certain hairstyles, especially when it's out. Wouldn't use it to slick at all, no. but that's not what it's for. Yeah, true. I would happily use these two again when I want to like have my hair like proper styled and <laughs> you know, slicked and the baby hair laid. Yeah. I was ready. This is what you want in a man. It smells nice. Holds well. This is what you want. This is what, that's what you want. Too loose, man. Too the curls. What you want. They will pop. What I liked is that it has something for everybody. For someone like me who was not into putting gel in my hair to get the curls, if these two don't stop, um, I would definitely add gel to my routine after trying this one. Eco Styler for the win, in that sense. Got a lot of great products. Thank you. If you want to send us some more, feel free. I mean, I'll make it clap. You wait, no? <laughs> you make it clap. I think. <laughs> I'll make it clap. <laughs> you make it clap. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, but. I'm Hanifa and today we're going to be trying the Easy Detangling Comb 
which you've probably seen all over Instagram. I haven't really bought a lot of things off Instagram before, um, but then this lockdown happened. It claims to work for all hair types and I'm a little bit dubious because we all know that one size fits all things don't, don't usually work very well. I'm quite skeptical about anything that seems trendy. I do hope it works. I really want like a good detangler with minimal shedding as well. Like I find that I shed, shed a lot, especially when I detangle. I don't know if this will work. It looks interesting. I have some reservations. I'm not sure why it's so like flimsy. And then this, I'm not happy about this. I don't know why they felt the need to include a small detachable part that could very, very easily fall down the drain in your shower when you're trying to put it on your hairbrush. But having said that, it makes some bold claims and it's called Easy Detangler. So I'm assuming it knows what it's doing. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me on a little wash day. I'm hoping I'm just gonna be like, perfect curls, five minute shower. So the easy detangler, uh, wet your hair with water or moisturise with conditioner, gently brush vertically from the roots to end. This will massage your roots and detangle these tough knots. Follow through using the easy detangler brush horizontally to fully detangle and make those curls pop. Right. So it says you're supposed to start at the top of your head and go through. And I don't think I've ever done that, apart from maybe like the first time I ever did my hair and didn't know what I was doing, but, oh. Feels in my head okay. Um, I'm not mad at how long the brush is. Mm. It glides through quite easily, which is quite a surprise. Oh, hold on. This is a new technique. Oh. I don't like how, how wide it moves, but it goes through the hair. Mm. Doesn't feel like it's ripping as it goes through my hair. Because usually I pull faces if, it, if a brush or a comb is like ah. So it says use this bit if you have thin and short hair. And my hair is relatively thin and relatively short, so. Okay, I don't like, I can hear like a snapping sound. I hope that's not my hair snapping. In terms of like what it's doing for my hair, I, I like it, I like the bounce that it's giving to the ends. And in terms of the hair that's actually coming out, not that much, if any. I guess my hair is well and truly detangled. That didn't take very long, it took about two minutes. Not a lot in the house. As I was talking through the Easy Detangler, you probably have assessed that I, I did like it, did enjoy it. This is actually better than the one I already have, which I was, I'm really sad to admit, I'm not gonna lie. If you hate detangling your hair, and or you have very, very, very tangled, knotted hair, and you just, you find it stressful, I think I would have appreciated a brush like this when I was a kid, when my mom was doing my hair. It just works really well. The one thing I don't like about it is the fact that this, this thing keeps falling out. So like when you're in the middle of using it, it's like slipping and sliding and then your hair gets tangled in this. It also made me feel like I had like no hair on my head because it just went Which is what I wanted at the start. I know I said that. Perfect curls, five minute shower. But it didn't, there's a process of detangling which makes it feel like you've done it properly and this happened too quickly and my hair was too flat. I personally wouldn't buy it again. With tangle teasers and other detangling products, it feels less, it does feel like it's less of a chore. I feel like it handles better and it needs less force behind it in order for it to work. I'm very happy. I definitely recommend it. Um, two thumbs up. I'm in awe because I was ready to drag it. My name is Pip. I'm Hanifa. Hey, my name is Aisha, and I will be taking you through my wash day routine. I 
I would describe the relationship I have in my hair with very, I love you, I love you. Like we don't always get along, but I love you, I love you. So as I got older, I just taught things myself using the internet, social media is a great resource and some common sense. I want to say I wash it every seven to 10 days. In all honesty, I, ha I have done that. I wanna to strive to keep doing that. But every seven to 10 days is what I should do to remove build up and just feel clean, clean, clean. The main thing I look for in a hair product line is a good shampoo, like a good clarifying shampoo, like wash my hair please, it needs to be clean. A good conditioner for co-wash days and a great deep conditioner. Chef's kiss, like a, a good deep conditioner is like the best thing. Before I start washing my hair, I pre-poo. So this is before I shampoo, hence why it's called pre-poo. And I try and saturate my hair with um, Jamaican castor oil. So I embark in the shower, but I have to section my hair. And I use a uh, brush so that it won't rip out my hair as I'm detangling because it may be knotty because I have taken too long to wash it since the last wash. Yeah, I just try and like soap it down, get it all sudsy as much as possible. And sometimes I even shampoo twice. And I, I shampoo with Holy Curls shampoo. It smells great, it's vegan, and it gets my hair really, really clean but not feeling too dry. So then I go on to my deep condition. Obviously I make sure my hair's clean, not soaking wet but damp. Because if my hair's soaking wet, it will just drip out and I'm just wasting good, good, <laughs> good, good product. Once the deep conditioner is all rinsed out, it's now time to put in a moisturising leave-in conditioner. It smells good. Again, I section finger detangle because it just it just works for me. Once it's all conditioned and has a leave-in moisturiser, I do what I want to seal it because I do the lot um, the LCO method. I do liquid cream, oil, or like a gel. So I use their defining gel again. I section, but I don't use as much product as I would for a leave-in moisturiser. So, that was my hair routine for 3C slash 3B. Her? I think it turned out kind of cute. No? I'm Hanifa and today I'm going to be showing you my wash day routine. I have, I think, 3C hair, but honestly I'm not sure because the back of it, the curls are very, very, very loose. So I think that might be veering on like more 3B situation. But I think on the whole, it's pretty much 3C. I have a love-hate relationship with my hair. When it works, it's a dream. Like when it cooperates, it's the best hair ever. But then when it doesn't want to cooperate, it's a complete nightmare. Like it, sometimes, I don't know what's going to happen. I wash my hair, I'll style it. We don't know how it's going to turn out. Will it be a good hair day? I don't know. I wash my hair like once or twice a week. I enjoy the process of washing my hair. Like I like to like just clean it and stuff. So I probably wash it a bit more than I need to wash it. If I do something where I use a lot of products, I don't want to have like gels and stuff sitting in my hair. So I will wash it more if I put products in it, like hairsprays and gels. Nobody taught me to, to do my hair. So it might show when you see my wash routine. Growing up, I was the only person in my house with like curly Afro hair. So this was before YouTube tutorials and all that. So my mom was pretty much going with advice from friends and trial and error. So it was a lot of freestyling and a lot of like us trying a product, it not working, seeing what worked, what didn't work. And a lot didn't work. I don't think that there's one way to do black hair. Like, I don't think there are rules actually. I think they're guidelines for healthy hair, but I think you also need to work with what works best with you. So I'm starting off with hair that's quite dry. So the first thing that I do is stand under the shower to make sure that all of my hair strands can get completely soaked. Then I go through my Afogee Deep Moisture Shampoo and I start off with the scalp and I use my fingertips to just massage that in to get rid of any product buildup. And then I actually have quite thin strands so I make sure that I also get the product on the actual length of my hair just to get rid of any product that's been accumulating over the week. And then I'll go in with my ORS hair mayonnaise and I use a lot of this, like about a handful, just to make sure that all my strands feel completely covered and coated. Then I'll tie that in a ponytail and get on with my shower. So I let that sit on, the, on my hair for about 15 minutes and then I'll get my wide tooth comb and section my hair off and detangle it, starting from the bottom to the top. 
Then once my hair's all detangled, I'll get in the coldest water that I can stand and just rinse off my hair. Rinse the hair mayonnaise out and just try and close the cuticle as much as possible. Then I get the Affigy Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner Spray and just spray that on my head. And the last thing I do before I get out of the shower is wrap my hair in a cotton t-shirt, kind of like a towel, and just to absorb the water. And then I'll leave that on for about 15 minutes before I go to do my moisturizing routine. So then I section my hair into four and I use the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner and I mix it with water a little bit just to make it a little less thick and just work that through my hair and use my Denman brush to detangle it. I'll just smooth it down. I'm going for a low ponytail in this style. So I smooth that down with my hands and my Denman brush as much as possible. I get Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil one, and a bristle brush and I just smooth it down. I try not to use too much force with the bristle brush because I don't want to put as much pressure on my edges, but that's what I do. And then I get a silk scarf and flatten it down, leave that on while I do my makeup for about half an hour, take it off and then we're ready to go. So that was my wash routine for type 3C hair. Um, and yeah, if I was doing wearing it just out, I would have put gel on the actual strands rather than just to slick it down, just to define the curls a bit more. But because I'm just putting it back, I just want it to be as moisturized as possible and I feel like putting gel in the curls is just gonna make them kind of crunchier than they need to be. Every day I'll just spray it with the water and detangling spray just to keep it moisturized. And that's it. Hi, um, my name is Pip and I will be taking you through my hair wash routine. I have four C hair. Um, which means that my hair is very tight and coily. It, there's no real rhyme or reason to how often I wash my hair. Basically, for me, it all depends on how often I've gone to the gym that week. But I would say probably on average 10 days, every 10 days. I taught myself how to do my hair just based off like things on YouTube and vlogs online. Just a lot of research because I had been natu um, natural, natural, i had been um, relaxed for such a long time. I'm really excited to take you um, on my hair wash, wash journey. I do it uh, <laughs> what me and my family affectionately call the bush way, which is with my head hanging over my bath because I feel like when I do it in the shower, my hair gets tangled. No matter how much I try to keep it in sections, it just always gets really tangled and it's very stressful. And then there's like shampoo in my eye and conditioner on my face and I don't like it. I will take you through my wash, my condition, my deep condition, um, and then uh, what I do when I want to dry my hair when I'm not doing like a wash and go. Let's go. So I start with a shampoo and I love the rinse, repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> This Cantu shampoo is really great for getting rid of buildup, which is fantastic. And then I section my hair and use this Parma shampoo, which adds a bit of moisture, usually a detangle bit at this point, before rinsing and putting in my deep conditioner. So to deep condition, I use Africa's Best um, Originals hair mayonnaise, and I section my hair again, you know, comb it through and detangle, put it into a plastic shower cap, and then I heat up my um, steam shower cap in the microwave and leave that on for about half an hour. So I usually am a fan of like the LOC method, the lock method, liquid oil and cream. I have now just come to the point where it's like, just put anything that's gonna lock in some moisture. So I've got a homemade shea butter mix. I have a Palmer's Grow Therapy sort of like oil based cream thing and then I have some twisting cream that I add for my um, braid outs. So I get my Denman brush which I absolutely love and I love how it glides through my hair and I basically create all these braids for my hair to dry in overnight and yeah I think it keeps my hair like soft and supple and then I also go through my scalp with that Palmer's oil therapy cream just to you know make sure that my scalp is greased. So that's it my hair is wrapped and then I put a scarf on because I don't care I don't care I'm not letting you see me in my like and there we go just taking it down basically nothing special about this part so here we are um messy but just free I just like my hair to be free that is my wash day routine 
Um, relatively simple. That's how I do it most days. There are some days where I don't use the clips and that is when I struggle and I regret not using them. So they have become a staple. I am the sort of person who I don't, obviously as you can probably tell, I don't wash my hair when I'm having a shower. So it is an event in itself. If I'm going to wash my hair, it's like, right, okay, I've set myself out a block of the day, which I think is the same for many black women across the world. My hair can get dry, but it's not dry, not too dry. So, um, you know, I wonder if the other girls are using things like masks or, um, you know, pre-poos, all that sort of stuff, giving it the real tender loving care that it deserves. I just want to clean my head top, but yeah.